Hey guys, uh, welcome to your uh, love reading for uh, Pisces. Uh, this is this is going to be for your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for the end of your uh, end of your July going into August. Uh, we're going to take a look at your overall energies regarding love and the person that you are connecting with, and then we will take a look at your person to see what their current true feelings and intentions are towards you, and then we'll finish off the read with the possible outcome and advice and what else you guys need to know. So apply this to your own unique situation. Switch the roles if you want. Um, this could be with someone new, old, current, okay? Uh, keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Uh, if this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up. Like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Pisces people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading specific to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Okay, so Pisces, let's get started. Um, over energies for Pisces. What is surrounding Pisces regarding love and the person that they are connecting with? for uh the end of your july going into august sun moon rising venus signs for pisces Pentacles. Wow. Someone here might be coming in with a very solid offer here. Eight of Wands. Yeah, you're about to receive a lot of, a lot of communication from someone about, you know, a commitment. Yeah, someone here is thinking long term, thinking prosperity here with you, abundance, okay? Um, and the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, and the Tower. Seems like you might be getting unexpected communication from someone that you least expect. Because at some point, this person was non-committal. But now they want to commit. Could be dealing with the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, a Scorpio here. Okay, you might have those energies in your chart. You have the Nine of Cups here and the Wheel of Fortune. Seems like someone here is coming back around. Yeah, someone here is realizing that you are their wish fulfillment here. Seems like the, the universe is stepping up to wake this person up. Yeah, uh, because... This person's wish fulfillment is right in front of them, or was right in front of them, okay? Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles here. With a star card, Aquarius energy, the Eight of Wands, and the Five of Pentacles, yeah. Someone here is coming back in from the cold. Someone here is about to communicate with you. Someone here is seeing you as their wish. Someone here is hopeful that you would accept their offer, okay? Um, I do feel like this person has missed you a lot, so I feel like you... You might have been separated from this person for a very long time here, Pisces, okay? The uh, Queen of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. This person has been holding on to you, unable to let go. The Tower, the Two of Swords. You know, I feel like this person is being waxed by the universe and I feel like this person has been refusing to see it, but I feel like they're finally seeing it now. Uh, Nine of Cups. Temperance, Sagittarius energy, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Empress, Libra, Taurus energy. Whoever this is, this is an individual that's seen a lot of growth and expansion here with you. We have someone here that's looking to come in to apologize, make peace with you, looking for forgiveness here, okay? Uh, Sagittarius energy with Temperance, Empress, Libra, Taurus energy. Someone here has definitely seen the value of this connection, seen the potential growth and expansion here, Okay. Tell me about the person that uh, Pisces is dealing with here. What is this person's current true feelings and intentions towards Pisces? For the end of July, going into August, Sun Moon Rising Venus signs for Pisces. the page of swords leaper aquarius gemma and the hierophant and you, yeah i just feel like this person wants to communicate with you to let you know that they want higher levels of commitment here with you 
whoever this is, I feel like this person has been holding on to this relationship for a very long time. Yeah, Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. We have someone here that's definitely spying on you. Someone here is spying on you to see if you're committed elsewhere. But I feel like, you know, for some of you guys, you guys are not. Yeah. Tell me, uh, so we have the lovers here in the Ten of Wands. So Hierophant, Taurus energy, the lovers, Gemini energy here. And then Judgment card and Two of Pentacles. Someone here is definitely looking for a reconciliation. The problem is I feel like this person's like really unsure about themselves. You know, it could be a situation that this person's making a decision, making a judgment call whether to come forward here towards you. You know, I feel like this person wants to come back, but at the same time, I feel like they don't want to disturb your peace. <laughs> yeah, so um, yeah, I feel like that's what this person's feeling or thinking. Tell me about the, the Page of Swords. Because it seems like you're in this really peaceful and happy energy, from what I could tell. Yeah, it seems like life has moved on. You got, you're got you moving on. You're carrying on that sort of thing here. You know, you've learned your lessons, that sort of thing. So, yeah, someone here is definitely seeing that you're, you're doing okay. Tell me about the Page of Swords. We have the Seven of Pentacles, the Hierophant, and the Moon Cancer Pisces energy. Whoever this is, you know, whoever this, this is, this is an individual that has deep, emotional feelings towards you and i feel like this person's thinking about you all the time this person's having nostalgia or something like that there's definitely a lot of reassessment that's happening here with this individual cancer pisces energy with the moon could be dealing with another pisces here okay the lovers and the knight of cups the ten of wands and the king of cups cancer scorpio pisces okay so this masculine here wants to come back towards you I feel like, you know, I feel like this feminine energy, I feel like this th this feminine energy did not want this connection to end. Yeah. I feel like this feminine energy was trying to keep do everything that they can to keep this relationship together, but it was unsuccessful. But yeah, you could be, so I feel like this masculine is coming back towards you to tell you how they feel. Tell me about the judgment card. Why is the judgment card here? The Six of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, and the Ace of Swords. Yeah, I do feel like this person's going to make a decision to come back towards you to reunite with you. I feel like they want to tell you the truth about how they truly feel and what they want with you. Whoever this is, this person has done a lot of growing up, perhaps. Yeah. Tell me uh, tell me more. Uh, how come an advice here for Pisces regarding their love situation? What else does Pisces need to know? How come an advice here? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for the end of July going into August. We have the Four of Swords and the Two of Cups. We have the Three of Swords and Three of Pentacles. We have the Knight of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. Whoever this is, this is an individual that's really, 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 really sorry for hurting you or maybe leaving out you in the cold or being very cold or distant or disengaged from you. Whoever this is, this person is like really, 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 really sorry. Yeah, three of swords and a three of pentacles. We have the knight of swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, and a 10 of pentacles. This is what this person wants with you. Yeah. This person wants commitment. This person wants marriage. This person wants to move in together with you. This person wants to have children with you. Uh, some This individual could have put you in a third party situation. Four of swords with the five of wands. Two of cups and the seven of wands. We got someone here that's looking, coming back to fight to save this connection here. But I feel like with the seven of wands, you could be pushing this person away. This could be an indication that you don't want to deal with this drama, uh, Pisces. Three of Swords. With the Six of Cups. Yeah, we have someone here that can't stop thinking about you, missing you here. Like I said, I feel like this person's really, really sorry. And I feel like this person's looking for a reconciliation, looking to work things out. Three of Pentacles. And the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Yeah, we have someone here that can't stop thinking about you. The Knight of Swords. We have the King of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, and the Nine of Pentacles. This person wants it all with you. This person's going to try everything that they can. Uh, this person's going to message you. This person's going to do backflips. This person's going to do somersaults. This person's going to bend over backwards. 
I mean, this person's rushing it really, really quick. Uh, this person is just, like I said, really, 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 really sorry. It seems like there was a tarot moment here. Yeah. A tarot moment that was caused by maybe some sort of miscommunication here. Someone here misspoke. Someone here was not direct and honest about their uh, intentions towards someone. Someone here could, could have been juggling you, keeping secrets. Okay. Yeah, but I just feel like this person's coming back. Okay. So, uh, Pisces, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video. Like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.